Good morning everyone, welcome back for another video, a follow-up video to my October statistics. Um, yeah, it was quite a short video, one of the shortest I've done, and I think the reason for that is because I missed telling you about one of the observations that I've seen. So let's quickly cover that in a separate video, and it's to do with the Huawei inverter. Uh, yep, um, I've now had a Solus inverter, a Solar Edge inverter, and a Huawei inverter. So capturing the statistics for the solar generation for all of those, I can see the differences between them um, at the same times of year and in the same weather conditions, etc., to see which is more efficient and which isn't. And if you remember from my videos, if you're a regular follower, I always used to comment that my Solus inverter was better than Solar Edge in low light conditions. So in summer, the Solus and the Solar Edge would do okay, and they would do quite comparable to the number of kilowatts that are on each array. So on the arrays, I've got 3.9 kilowatts on what was my Solus inverter and 2.4 kilowatts on my Solar Edge inverter. So dividing 2.4 into 3.9 gives you 61.5%. 2.4 kilowatts of solar panels is 61.5% of 3.9 kilowatts. So that's the solar panels that I have on the roof. So the inverters, if they're performing like for like, should give me a performance of generation of 61.5%. Now, yes, there are some other factors, you know, the orientation of the panels. Well, they're on the same roof, the same angle, but maybe it's the height. The solar edge panels are higher up the roof. So maybe I'm going to get more sunlight and less shading because of the higher height. So if anything, the solar edge panels are better off. So everything being like for like, I should be seeing 61.5%, but I wasn't. In the days when I had the Solus inverter installed, I was seeing between 56 and 57% on most days, which is indicating that the Solus inverter is generating better than the Solar Edge inverter. Now for a few percent, that doesn't make much difference, does it? You know, I don't mind that, but it's a, it's a good number to watch. But what I noticed was in the winter and in low light conditions, those percentages reduced down to even as low as 40% or lower. Um, so the Solar Edge inverter sometimes wouldn't even come on. So some of the reasons for the solar edge inverter not coming on in low light conditions as well or as soon and going off sooner is because of the optimizers potentially drawing a little bit of voltage. So you need even more voltage coming through from the panels before the inverter fires up and gives you power into the house, gives you generated solar energy. You know, maybe that's part of the reason. But anyway, it's a continuing trend that solar edge But anyway, it's a continuing trend that Solar Edge is not performing as well in low light conditions as the Solus inverter. Well, now I have the Huawei inverter, which has replaced the Solus inverter. It's been really interesting to see how those statistics change. What I'm seeing is instead of getting 56 to 57% in summer months, what I'm seeing is a very comparable 61% or even a little bit more. So the Huawei inverter is is performing very comparably to the solar edge inverter, which means it's not performing as well as the Solus inverter. But in low light conditions, and let's take October, the month of October especially has been the first sort of winter month where we've noticed lower sun and lower light days, more cloud, etc. What I've noticed is the Huawei inverter is now underperforming compared to the solar edge inverter. It's even worse. So it really is showing the Solus inverter is generating more energy across the entire year than both of those inverters. So yeah, really big thumbs up to um, Solus for their software, their hardware, and whatever they're doing to give you that extra generation. So with the Huawei inverter, what, what am I actually seeing? Well, in the summer months, we were seeing, as I said, 61%, but now this month, for the entire month, that percentage has gone up to 64%. So we've lost a couple. But when you drill down and you look at the day by day and you look at the low light days again, so where we've got very little generation, that percentage has gone as high as 70, 71%. So we definitely are seeing 
a continued worse trend in low light conditions. It, it makes me wonder, you know, have I got something on my panels? Have I got a problem? So I do keep popping outside, having a look at the panels, making sure there's not bird shite all over them and uh, making sure that it is just the stats and just the inverters that are making the difference. And yeah, there's nothing in the way. There's no special shading. There's nothing on the panels. There's no dirt. They all look as clean as each other. So it does appear to be the inverters. So this Huawei inverter, can I recommend it? I don't think so. Uh, it's got some clever ways of optimizing and clever ways of being configured so that you could save some money on the installation. So I think installers might like it and installers might like recommending it. But if it generates less energy in winter when you're desperate for energy, because on a day where you've only got two or three kilowatt hours being generated, every watt hour really counts. Every kilowatt hour definitely counts. What I was seeing with the Huawei was that it was um, giving me on average one kilowatt hour a day less than the Solus inverter. And that is a big difference because over a year that's 365 kilowatt hours and it makes a big, big difference. Anyway, I thought I'd share that information with you. So if I was ranking them in performance and usability and all of those things, Solus comes number one. Solar Edge comes second, not as good in low light conditions, but the software interface is better. But the software interface is better than the Solus interface. And last, Huawei. The software interface isn't anywhere near as good as the Solar Edge, and the performance is nowhere near as good. <sighs> I can't help it. I know, I know, but I'm no good. Can, can you just stop for a moment? Just let me finish the one second. I, I know, I was trying to get the timing. I'm gonna lose my train of thought. And the Huawei inverter comes last because the software interface isn't as good as the Solar Edge and the performance is nowhere near as good as the Solus. So that was what I forgot to give you as an update in my monthly update video. Um, I hope that makes sense. I hope I've explained it well enough. And uh, if you're thinking about getting a Huawei inverter, yeah, think about Solar Edge and also think about Solus. Solus might be a Chinese brand, but very reliable and uh, does a pretty good job. It's just that software interface that isn't quite as good as Solar Edge, in my opinion. Take care, thanks for watching, and see you again soon for another video. Uh, before this cold comes on any further, I'll get that heating video done next today. Take care, bye for now.